If you're estimating for a carport, then the Renovations and Alterations programme has two modules specifically designed for this work. In this movie, I will be showing you our carport lean-to using sawn timber module. I'll bring this module into my pricing sheet. I will click the letter C and select the carport lean-to using sawn timber module. If I just scroll down the pricing sheet, as you can see, there are many items that need to be accounted for in this estimate. By entering just two numbers, this module is going to do this work for me. I'll show you. At the top of the screen, I need to enter the required information into the red cells. I could type this in directly, but I will click on the question mark here. By clicking the question mark, I'm given a helpful diagram. The length of the rafters on this job is 4.2 linear metres, so I enter this here. The length of the carport is 6 linear metres, so I put this in here. The default for my centres is 0.6 linear metres. I will be leaving this as it is, but if for example you wanted your centres to be 400, you would just enter 0.4 here by overtyping the information. I will now click Enter Details. By entering the information directly into the picture, the module has now placed it into the red cells. But even more impressive is the fact that if I now scroll down the pricing sheet, I can see many calculations have automatically taken place and the job is basically priced by simply entering just two numbers. Let's take a look at what's been allowed. Like all our modules, the hard work is done for me, but I can see a few yellow cells that may need my judgement and I do always like to glance over and take the opportunity to fine-tune the details where necessary to the exact requirements of each job. I'll need a post hall auger for a day, and I'll be using it for just over three hours. These details are highlighted in yellow, as they may need my judgement. This is right for the job I am doing, but you can alter it if you wish. You can also change the plant selection by using the drop-down menu. The posts for setting up are next. I'll just click on the question mark. In the diagram, I can see that the height of post above ground is 2 linear metres. The spacing between the posts is 2 linear metres, and there is an allowance of 33% of the post to be in the ground. I am going to adjust the height of the post above ground to 2.2 linear metres. I'll leave the other information as it is, but of course, you can change it if you want. The material for my post is shown here. The blue text tells me the material requirement for my post. I am using the Sawn Timber Carport module, so the default material selections for all the timber involved are based on this. But if you wanted to use a combination of Sawn and PSE timber on your job, then this is easy. Next I can see the calculations for my mixer and the aggregates and cement for the post. I can see the material selection and quantity, plus the plant and material costs. The labour hours and labour costs for these items are covered on the Labour for Concreting Posts line. As you can see, the hours are highlighted in yellow, as they may require your judgement. It's been done in this way to ensure your costs remain accurate. The plate timber on top posts, top plate and rafters are worked out next. You can click on the question mark for a pictorial diagram. As you will see, as I selected the sawn carport module, these items have timber sawn as their default. I can see the materials selected here. The blue text tells me that I will require 11 rafters at 4.2 linear metres long. There is no red text, so I know the material selected will meet these requirements. You can adjust any of these material selections by using the drop-down menus. You can alter the timber sawn menu to PSE timber if you wish. You will then be able to select a PSE timber if you're doing a combination of sawn and PSE. If you wished your carport to be made of PSE, then I would recommend selecting that module, as the defaults are all set to PSE, so this would save you time. The barge board, fascia, lead work and roof covering have all been calculated. I can see the material selection, quantity, costs and hours for each of these items. It is important to read the blue text under the roof covering. 
This lets me know how the calculations for the roof covering were done, and it also advises that based on this information, I may wish to alter my material selection to ensure that I have sufficient and long enough sheets to cover my roof. The glazing bars have been calculated. You will notice the quantity is in a yellow cell, as it may require your judgement. The module allows one glazing bar to each rafter. If you do something different, then you simply alter the quantity to match your requirements. The tape to ends of roof covering, side caps and end caps to roof covering are all worked out. I'm sure you will recall all of this information was calculated by entering just two numbers. I'll need one one yard bag for my waste disposal. I'll just click on the question mark for my top plate fixings. In the diagram I can see what centres these are being fixed at. I will leave these as they are, but you can change them directly in this picture. You could do this just for this job, or if you always set your fixings in a certain way you can adjust items like this in your master copy, and there will be no need to check every time you price, as it will automatically be set to your preferences. I can see how many restraint straps I will need, and this is followed by my restraint strap fixings, fascia and barge board fixings, rafter fixings and glazing bar fixings. I'll just click on the glazing bar fixings question mark. Again, like all of our fixings, I can use the self-explanatory diagram to adjust how my fixings will be done, and enter the information directly into the picture. Lastly, I have my decorating options. If I wasn't estimating for the decorating, I would just untick all of these boxes. If I was staining, I would tick just the base and top coat option like this. I'm actually going to be painting, so I will retick the primer, undercoat and gloss options. If you wish to see or alter how the decorating calculations are done, simply click on the question mark and use the self-explanatory diagrams. The totals for my plant, materials, hours, labour and overall total are shown here along the bottom. By entering just two numbers, my carport lean-to using sawn timber was priced, and with the straightforward layout of the pricing sheet and helpful diagrams, fine-tuning the details to my exact requirements was easy and fast. And best of all, I now have an extremely accurate estimate for not just my client, but my business as well.